like to keep my living room really tidy, and that means putting all of my media devices in this cabinet, closed. The only problem with that is that it gets really hot in here, and I'm afraid these gadgets will overheat. So what's the solution? To install a cooling fan on the side of this cabinet. I'll show you how to do that today, but first I need to turn this place into a workshop. All right, my workshop is set up and now we're ready to get started. But first, let's talk about what we need. I've got my fan. Now, this is a temperature controlled fan. So at 88 degrees, it'll turn on and at 81 degrees, it'll shut off. And I love it because it's super quiet. Okay, I've got the fan and now my tools. I've got this measuring and leveling tool, masking tape, a drill, a screwdriver and pliers. I've got my drill bits and a jigsaw. And finally, you'll need measuring tape. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is center up the fan unit. So, okay, this is about 15 and a half inches. I need it to be at seven and a quarter, little mark there. Now I need to place some tape around where I'm gonna trace the outline of the fan. Reason being, this cabinet has a finish on it and I don't want it to chip off when I drill into it. All right, that should do it. Perfect. This is where I'm going to cut out a hole for our fan. Boom, there it is. Now we get to do some drilling. So, put on my protective eyewear. Oh yeah, it works. So what I wanna do is drill a hole on this corner and on this corner. Here goes nothing. That felt kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. All right, now it's time to bring out the jigsaw. Now what I'm gonna do is drill, oh, sorry guys, I didn't make sure it's level. Oh my God, good thing I checked. It's important. Okay, I'm just gonna retrace the lines. The jigsaw. I'm gonna go up through this hole up here, go down here, and then meet the two lines. Okay. <sighs> this is the moment of truth. Nice, okay. Now, actually, the real moment of truth is to see if our fan fits in the hole. If it does, I pass. It totally does, but before we can finish the installation, I've gotta do a little cleaning. Much better. Now we can get to installing the fan. All right, the first thing we need to do is secure the fan to this uh, mounting plate. Now what we'll do is fit this guy in here. That looks really nice. Lastly, we'll put four wood screws over here and our fan will be ready to go. So to make it easier to screw these wood screws inside, I'm going to drill four starter holes and then hand screw in those screws. So I'm just gonna mark the middle point of each of these. Now I'm gonna carefully just drill, a little, not all the way through, just a little bit so I have a good starting point for my screws. That looks really good. My fan is in place. It's basically flush with the cabinet. And when it's all said and done, my gadgets won't overheat. So the last thing I need to do is put everything back in the cabinet and take this guy for a spin. 
My apartment's clean, everything is back where it belongs, and I can finally put this fan to work. So the last thing I need to do is connect the fan to the temperature sensor, and finally, I'll connect this sensor to power. Okay, it's really hot in my apartment right now, so the fan should go on almost immediately. And it's already running. Now, you can put this temperature probe in specific high heat areas in your cabinet, but for me, I'm just gonna throw it on top. Now, if you have any questions along the way, let me know on Twitter and send your suggestions to alwaysonatcnet.com. Hey, if I can do it, so can you.